was a beautiful Inuit girl. And one day she and her father went out on a long voyage across the empty ocean, each with their own paddle in the same skinned kayak. Now in those days the ocean was empty. There was nothing but blackness beneath the surface and ice glistening above. And so Senna's presence with her father attracted the attention of a storm who lived on the far horizon. Well, curious as storms are, it came and it started to swirl around this little boat, playing with this new toy it had found. Sensing their danger, Sedna and her father turned the boat and started to make for the safety of the far harbor. Sedna had a great heart, and so she put all of her strength behind each stroke of the paddle. But her father was cowardly and craven. He looked back and he thought to himself, this boat would go faster if it was lighter. And so without warning, he reached out, he grabbed his daughter, and he threw her into the icy deep. Well, that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Senna had such a great heart, she swam behind the boat and grabbed a hold and wouldn't let it advance. Her father panicked. He grabbed the paddle and started to hit her fingers to make the release, but she refused. And she wouldn't have. But finally, the terrible cold turned her fingers into clear icicles. And with one tap, the ice shattered, and she fell fingerless down into the deep with these little shards twinkling after. Well, that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Sedna had such a great heart, she looked around herself in the empty blackness, and she thought, if this is to be my new home, I don't want to be alone. And so with a force of will, she turned each one of those fingers into a new animal that had never existed before. They became the first whales, walruses, seals, all the creatures that still live with her up in the north. Said now around the day, the cold forgotten day, no one wants to be alone.